friends so today we'll quickly look at the widget's identity it states that if a and b are non zero integers and d is equal to gcd of a and b that is the highest common factor of a and b then there exist integers x and y such that ax plus by is equal to d also d is the smallest positive integer that can be written as ax plus by in the form of ax plus by and every integer of the form ax plus by is a multiple of the greatest common divisor d why this is true because uh, ax both uh, a and b are having d as the greatest common divisor which states that a and b both can be written as a multiple of d so we write a as dh and b as dg so ax plus by becomes dhx plus dgy and we can take d common out of this and it becomes d multiplied by hx plus gy which is of course divisible by d so we take an example below where a is equal to 8 and b is equal to 10 their gcd of course is 2 because 2 4 is 8 and 2 5 is 10 it is the greatest number which divides both of them if we write 8x plus 10y is equal to 2 uh this is the pair which satisfies the equation minus 1 and 1 and so 2 is the smallest positive integer that can be written as x plus by 1 can't be written as 8x plus 10y so there are no x and y numbers which satisfy 8x plus 10y is equal to 1 and the second thing states that any 8x plus 10y will be divisible by 2 which is of course true because um out of 8x plus 10y we can take 2 common and then 2 4x plus 5y which is of course divisible by 2 so this is the bijot's identity a very simple identity and looking at this equation ax plus by is equal to gcd of a comma b i think you are reminded of the euclidean extended euclidean algorithm so if you have not seen uh the algorithm before please watch my extended euclidean algorithm video and given ax plus by is equal to gcd a comma b you will by watching that video you will know how to find the integers x and y in that case so hope you like the whole video uh thank you friends please like share and subscribe my video